Hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to today's call. Uh, my name is James Larson. I'm with Live Free Fellowship, and joining me is uh, Mr. Bill Way, the CEO of Live Free Fellowship, who has over 30 years of experience in the break room uh, vending space. He's also a, a Wall Street Journal number one best-selling author. Uh, you may have heard of his book, Vending Success Secrets. That's in its third edition now. And then uh, his up-and-coming book, Micromarkets, is also uh, definitely uh, going to rock your world. So make 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 sure you you get a hold of both copies. And today we're going to talk about micro market vending and 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 just kind of give you a background on on Bill's experience, our knowledge, and and what we see with the industry. And again, Bill's you know very well known. He's had a lot of success. He's really the you know the key the the key component to you know making this uh, our business model work, where we've been successfully helping. Uh, folks just like yourself uh, since 2019 in the micromarket vending space, but I know he's got much more experience in, in vending uh, prior to that as well. And I'll, I'll let him talk in a moment. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, kind of bring on Bill and 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 let you guys hear from him directly. And uh, uh, so, Bill, yeah, please jump on the call uh, again. Again, thank you for your time. I re really appreciate it. I know you've got a wealth of knowledge and information to share. Well, hey, thank you, James. What a wonderful introduction. I really appreciate you, my friend. Uh, James has been one of my – he's been the top guy, the most senior guy in the company for years, and he's just uh, uh, been a, a, a rock star in the, in the industry for so many years. I don't even know how many years, but uh, you're, you're lucky to be working with James if you are, and we have a great uh, team here. Before we go any further, I, I just want to say that in, in my entire uh, business career, which is, spans my entire life, uh, I have never found a business opportunity more exciting than what we're doing right here. Let me briefly explain what the opportunity is. So having been in break room vending over 30 years, we noticed trends. I noticed trends. And about 10 years ago, we were seeing this micro market start to develop, but they were all in large companies with over 500 employees. So, uh, and there's only about 32,000 companies with, with uh, that many employees. And there's about 26,000 companies that already have a micro market or what we might call an automated convenience store in their break room. The trend is clear and, and, and that's not the opportunity. There's too much competition for what's left there. But what I saw is that there are over 2 million locations with 50 to 500 employees and they were not being served. Nobody had a payment system that was viable to work in the smaller businesses. And they also wanted the micro market. So what we did is it took a couple years to develop, but we came out with a uh, payment system that, that works for that market. And that's the key to the whole system. So we provide the payment system and uh, the equipment and the training and the branding and uh, locating assistance and all the help you need to get rocking and rolling in the, in the business. I really, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, kind of who this business is for and, and also the, you know, some of the benefits uh, to, to this benefit, you know, to, to this business. And, and, you know, really this, this is a business for, you know, for entrepreneurs, you know, obviously people that are, you know, have that mindset, you know, want to be their, their own boss. They want to create more financial freedom. And, and I talk with people every day, and a lot of people are business owners or they've owned businesses in the past, um, uh, but what, they're, you know, what, what appeals that, to them about what we're doing is the, you know, the ability to create a, a truly passive income, you know, a business where they don't have to be there every day. They don't have to you know, uh, you know, monitor employees and, and, and you know, it's something they can you know, definitely set up and operate but, you know, we, we, we tend to attract a lot of folks that are really looking for something that is, you know, somewhat turnkey where it, it, obviously there's work involved here, but it's not a business where they need to be there every single day of the week. And also it's something that they can scale up to whatever level. We've got folks that come here that are, you know, just looking to create some, uh, some supplemental income. And we've got folks that are coming here looking to replace their income. And we've got opportunities for people – you know, to start it with three markets to create an additional 52,000 uh, annual net profit uh, or more with three markets or all the way up to 10 markets where, you know, we've got folks starting at that level too that are, you know, generating upwards of 178,000 annual profit. So it's really, this is a business for, for people that, you know, want to create more and, and also something that they could, you know, potentially scale up and, 
it's something that they can you can operate on a part time basis. It's you know we don't we don't uh, you know expect people to leave their current profession or job unless they want to. And but quite frankly, we have a lot of people going into what we're doing. And I know we've had a lot of a lot of success stories, and um, and, and 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 so anyways, that's kind of kind of kind of kind of what we're what we're all about is help, helping people create more more passive income, create more freedom uh, financially, and you know live live the type of lives where where they 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 don't they don't have to you know go to a business every day of the week. They can you know once this business is operational and set up and in companies, it's mainly a service call once a week, and 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 a lot of folks will even outsource that and, and, and just manage this from, you know, from, 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 from afar, so to speak. So one of the, the major things that people, people always, um, you know, like they're concerned about is the importance of finding good locations. And, and, and um, that's something that is very key to, to this business. And how, how are we able to help people find good locations? Because <laughs> I know that's important. Everyone I talk to wants that's, to know about that. How are you guys? Yep, yeah. that's on on everybody's mind. That, great question. Uh, that's one of the most important questions to ask. Everybody asks that question, and you might think that locations could be a problem, and of course they would be if we couldn't get enough locations. There'd be a problem, but the fact is there's so many that it's we're just overwhelmed with them. Uh, we have over 2 million locations we've identified in the United States, and we have no competition that we know of after three years of rolling these out. We've got um, a, less than 1,000 markets so, uh, that we've set up so far, and uh, it's a big United States with over 2 million locations. So we have a process. We have a, a, a cookie-cutter approach to getting locations, and several different ways we go about it, depending on your needs, your time, and so on. So, for example, we have a direct mail program that's very effective. We, we uh, build a list of businesses that are, are meet our specifications, so we already know they're large enough and they're the type of business that we would like a market in their break room, and then we send them a four-color postcard, and we get good response from that. We get locations from that. Uh, another way is um, our website and our SEO. We, we become findable on the Internet when anybody's searching for vending services and they don't know that they can have break room uh, with a micro market so they get excited when they see that we get locations coming in from the websites that we build for you or that or that you can have built for yourself and um, also we have people in the field we have a, a gentleman named joseph who we've worked with for well over 30 years he's an independent but the, you you have the option of hiring him and he comes out to you and he uh, does trains you in place and gets locations and helps you with the whole process. And what he does is he trains you to not ever need him again. Um, he has a philosophy that uh, if you teach a, a person to to fish, you feed him for a lifetime, right? Where if you give him a fish, you fit, feed him for a day. So he's not coming out to just get your locations. He's coming out to give you a, a system and a strategy for long-term uh, locating, ongoing uh, lo locations, so that you can do it yourself and that you'll have a stream uh, of uh, people coming to you asking for locations and a waiting list for more locations. So when you have equipment, you can add, uh, you can just go to your waiting list. We've got, you know, everything from a direct mail marketing to a professional like Joseph to really help people, you know, you know, get, get the locations. And, it, you know, like you said, it first starts with identifying those locations and we're using a you know, we have access to a national database where we can create these targeted list of businesses. So we know we can get very, you know, very pinpointed on what types of companies we want to, uh, you know, you know, contact. Uh, we can eliminate certain types of businesses like restaurants and grocery stores, things of that nature. We can target specific size companies, and we're able to, uh, you know, identify and you know the the, the right companies because uh, that's 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 an important part of the process here. In order to you know get the best locations, is you you have to first you know identify the right companies to market to, and and then what we're offering these companies is a free service. It doesn't cost them anything. Uh, we you know the money the money is made in the sales of the snacks and drinks, and so it's really not that that tough of a of, of a you know a, a process. And and I, I know a lot of people um, I talk to every day you know are concerned about it. 
And, but also, again, we, you know, we're, we're offering a free service. So it's really just a matter of getting in front of enough companies and offering them this free service. And you offer this free service to enough companies, you're, you're going to get a percentage of those people that are going to want to have a micro market in their business. And, and what we're doing here, too, it's not a, this is not a new concept, by the way. A lot of people you know, I speak with don't have no, no, no um, idea of, of, of the nature of this business and, and the fact that uh, micro markets have been in operation in businesses uh, with over 500 employees since 2011. And, and at, at, at present time, there's already over 23,000 of these micro market lo- locations in the U.S. in 2017. This segment of Endin generated close to a billion dollars in sales, but you know, don't just take my word for it. You know, do your own research too. And part of what we provide is 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 articles that go into great detail about the micro market industry and 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 you know, quote some statistics and numbers. And if you do any research at all, you'll you'll find that this is a multi billion dollar industry that has grown exponentially since 2014, and it's. It's you know predicted to just continue to to to, to grow and you and, and, and evolve. Any anything that you want to add to that, Bill? Well, just that not only has it already been growing exponentially, but our niche is growing exponentially because, to the best of our knowledge, we still have no competition. So in that niche of fifty mm-hmm. to five hundred employees, it's very profitable. And all, think of if you were, uh, owned a business and you had a break room, wouldn't you rather have? A nice automated market than uh, than a vending machine. I mean, we we can offer. You have the option of offering fresh foods. We even we have uh, so many more options and selections, and it's such so much more convenient. So it's just a no brainer. Any business that understands what we offer wants it. So locations are plentiful. They really are plentiful. Some people don't know what a micro market is. It's basically a like a mini Seven Eleven store. We'll put in a company break room, and and they're if you've ever bought in a snack or a drink at the airport with the open to open cooler concept and, and it allows the, you know, uh, the vendors to, uh, you know, offer a much larger variety and selection of items. And, uh, you know, with traditional vending machines, uh, you're very limited. You're, you're limited by, you know, what mm-hmm. you can fit in that coil. And a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people when they're servicing their, their traditional vending machines don't realize how much work it is to put products in those little coils and 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 you know, with the micro market, it's an open cooler concept, and it, it just uh, it's 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 you know a lot more variety and selection, and and you know uh, we can you know o- offer a lot more, and it's just much more appealing to and much more appealing to to folks than having to put money into a, v- a vending machine and, and and hope they get out what they put their money in for, and hope it's not an expired product, so and so forth. So there's definitely um, a lot of, a lot of advantages, a lot of reasons why micro markets are you know, really, really the wave of the future. I know I get a lot of people that ask me all the time, you know, what, you know, this is in a, in a private company break room, but um, do you have people stealing, taking things? Uh, you know, can, can you talk about kind of what we've done or what, what, you know, what we do to kind of prevent that? Well, sure. Well, that's, that's important. So here's the way, first of all, look at it this way. Before we even get into the details, the very fact that there's over 23,000 markets operating in businesses with over 500 employees, it works, so there, you must. Anyone could assume there's solutions. You just don't know yet what they are. There are. It's not a problem. Uh, in in the industry overall, uh, we count on about two percent shrinkage, which we which we uh, that's the average. That shrinkage is any any money lost to either error or theft or spoilage. Uh, so two percent is a pretty low number. It's something we price in. Uh, we actually suggest budgeting a 5% for shrinkage, and it would be very unlikely to ever go over that. But the, the main reason that we don't have an issue with, with shrinkage or, uh, is that we put them in, in businesses where we have a, uh, a captive audience. I mean, the uh, only employees have access, not the, the general public. So they have a vested interest in seeing the market continue to operate. They don't want it taken out because of a problem. So they, they make, we make sure they know that it's important to pay accurately, and they know that. Another thing we do that's optional but I recommend is we affiliate with a major national charity. So, for example, if we're already budgeting 5% for shrinkage, I would rather pay that to a charity than just to have a, a, a shrinkage or loss. So we, we uh, offer a charity, say the National Children's Cancer Society, 5%. Per, per month less any shrinkage or shortages. 
So we tell that to the, the location that, and we put a sticker on the market that has a picture of a cute kid, and it says, "This uh, market supports Children's Cancer Society." And then uh, we let them know that. So if there's any issue, we go to the uh, management and we say, "Hey, you know, last month." We couldn't send a full check to children's cancer. We'd like to send them 5%, but we, we can only send them 2% because we have 3% shrinkage. See, we take the three, we take the three from the five. Once stated in that way, the, uh, man, we just asked the men, like, hey, talk to your people and, and tell them to be more careful about paying because we need to make sure we give the maximum donation to the children's cancer. So the employees understand that if they're shorting us, they're really shorting the kids. Not us. And we don't use the word steal. We use the word short. We assume they made a mistake. We don't call them thieves, right? So we just say to be careful about paying uh, accurately. And honestly, it's much better to have some, some shrinkage than to invest tens of thousands of dollars in steel boxes called vending machines just to make theft impossible. Because, you know, you've got a much lower ROI. You spend all that money and then you've got lower sales and with this, our system, you have a much lower startup cost and much higher sales, so we can afford a little bit of shrinkage. It's just no big deal. We just price it in as a cost of doing business. This is something everybody learns right away once you get start, set up and operational, and it's something new people question because they just don't understand the business. But if you think about it, it makes, it makes perfect sense. What do you think, James? Yeah, 100%. I mean, you know, people, um, if they're going to invest into a traditional vending machine, the equipment is typically more expensive than than a micromarket, which consists of a cooler, some shelving, and a payment system. So it's, a, you know, in, in terms of your initial investment, it, it's much more of an investment to invest in a secure box, so to speak. Uh, and, and then also uh, the problem with a traditional vending machine is that you, you're, you're very limited on what you can sell and offer. And, and you know, most people... When they're on break it at work, they don't they don't run to the vending machine. But using a vending machine, it's more that's their last that's their last resort. You know, nothing else. But with a micro market, because we're able to offer larger variety and selection of items and healthy items, and it's a you know just a much better concept, a much you know much more visually appealing, and people can get the product a lot quicker and easier due to our payment system. And you know we can talk more about that, but it, it's just a much you know it's just, it's just, it's just a much more you know user friendly experience. And I know that the bottom line really is, 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 is the sales, the, the sales. I, it, I know we've had people that have replaced or, you know, sold their traditional machines and replaced them with micromarkets and, and their sales increase significantly by, you know, up to 300% sometimes. So that's really the bottom line. You got to look at, you know, you know, if you, you have to spend a little bit more money, so to speak on uh, security, or you could even put a, a fake camera in there, uh, you know, a lot of companies do have cameras in their break rooms nowadays, but, you know, even if you, you know, you, there's a location you were concerned about, you, and even a fake camera that lights up a point to the market is going to really deter uh, the majority of folks. And, again, these are people that, that go there day in and day out, and they work for a company, and, and they understand that if, you know, if they're caught stealing in the workplace, they can lose their job. And, quite frankly, most people in today's society are not really wanting to risk losing their job to steal a sandwich or a bag of chips or a soda. <laughs> so, so we really, I know the shrinkage is definitely, uh, we have a list at 5%, you know, kind of allocated towards that on our spreadsheet, but I know it's much less than that. Um, in the, in, 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 in anything that uh, you, in, anything else you'd like to share on that, Bill? I, no, I think you've covered, you've covered that well. Let's, let's just add a little bit about payment systems real quick, because uh, when we started okay. out with this, we, we tested a lot of payment systems, and, uh, a lot of people think, well, this has a kiosk because a lot of people have seen these payment kiosks somewhere, airports or something. Well, first of all, kiosks typically cost at least $1,000 each. So every time you add a kiosk, you're making a very substantial additional investment. But more importantly, kiosks create lines. We don't want customers standing in line waiting to pay because that reduces sales. So while, yes, we do provide at least one kiosk in each location, still, we also offer an app-based payment system. So with our app-based payment platform, our customers can pay immediately with their own phone without having to wait in line. We can literally process hundreds of sales at the exact same moment and they will all process immediately. Conversely, with each kiosk provided, we can only process one sale at a time. 
So while offering at least one kiosk is very important, an app-based payment option is just as essential in my opinion. We stay on top of all the latest developments in payment system technology, and frankly what's coming in the next couple years will blow your mind. As new and better technology becomes available, we offer it to our team members just as soon as it's practical and profitable to use. People mm -hmm. don't want to wait in line. We're an instant society, and if they're able to get their product quickly and easily, uh, that, that's going to increase the sales drastically, and that's exactly, and that's something that's very, very unique about us. It makes us different, uh, you know, compared to other, other you know, micro-market vending folks is with our app-based payment system allows multiple users to purchase product at the same time. So we could have 20 people on break at the same time simultaneously purchasing product within the app. This is, this is a huge, huge component to, to increasing sales. And, and, and one of the things that really, uh, I believe, helps us you know, uh, you know, stand out and, and, and increase sales for our, our vendors in, 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 you know, versus a, a kiosk mm -hmm. type of a setup, which is, you know, better than a traditional vending machine, but definitely does not eliminate the lines. And so that's really, you know, I, I think that that's, that's a huge, huge thing. Um, and, and I don't know if there's anything else you want to talk about on that subject, Bill, but I think we've covered it pretty well. Yes, we have. I'll just add that business owners and locations often have a lot of questions, and we found the best way to answer them is simply to promote the free trial that we offer. Just try it out. Right for a week or two or three or a month, you you, you know give them a chance to uh, they can cancel at any time. Just just try it out because we can't possibly explain everything to the, to their satisfaction. Nobody ever, uh, to the best of my knowledge, nobody has ever taken a market and then asked us to take it out later. Once they get it in the door, they want to keep it. So the the, the marketing objective is just to get it in the door under almost any pretense that's ethical and. Uh, they, and they love it. If you haven't um, visited our website, Healthy Smart Mart, we've had a lot of a lot of success stories and a lot of people utilizing our system. And part of what you know makes our system so good is is is, is your your knowledge bill, and you 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 provide people with a step by step process on doing things. And 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 if you haven't visited our website, I definitely encourage you to do so because on our website you'll be able to. Uh, hear from or read read testimonials. Our website is healthysmartmart.com and really see exactly what our markets look like and, and hear directly from some of our, our vendors we, that we've worked with in regards to you know th their success. Now one of the one of the one of the things you'll find on our website too is a lot of people um, just just you know uh, raving about our professional uh, locator uh, uh, Joseph. Who, who, like I said, he's been doing this for years. And I encourage people to do that because, again, that's so important to get good quality locations. That's a key, 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 key uh, foundational piece to, to your business. And I know we've got direct mail marketing that we you know, work with a company that's been doing that for over 20 years, and, and they get great results too. So we've got a variety mm -hmm. of techniques to really help people get their locations. And, 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 and we've even had people just go into a business with a, a business card and a website and, and, and a little bit of training from you, Bill, and, and have even, you know, gotten businesses to, you know, uh, on their own, you know. But I, I you well, know, right. so I know that it, it's to not, totally not a doable. hard. But let me just interject real quick on that note. It, it, it's easy if, if you just follow the training. We have training. Anybody can do it without needing to do direct mail, without needing to hire Joseph or anything. So I have a, a, a on the team, we have a retired chiropractor who did nothing more than print business cards and went out and talked to the businesses on the list we gave them. And he got all, all, he needed four locations, got them all within a couple of weeks. It's just not difficult. It's easy. It's, it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's simple and it's easy. Yeah, a lot of people are concerned about getting good locations. And I, I have this question a lot too, or what if, what if I get a location and it's, you know, does it work out, doesn't pan out? And part of the reason that we don't have that problem is because of the research and the development and, and, the, and the targeted list we provide to people. And before you ever move equipment into a company, you've already met the owners, you've, you've, you've seen the site, and you, you, you know exactly how many employees are showing up every, every day. I mean, we can, we can provide information on whatever information we need on that business through our national database we have access. So, so really, you know, the work that goes into creating these targeted lists and, 
and and the the preliminary work is so so important, which obviously we've been doing this for a, a while, and you know that's that's part of our expertise is is really to create these target lists and really so when you know you 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 put a market in a company before you do that, you're going to know so much about the company and have met the owners and you're going to have a really good feel. So that's why we we really don't have issues with people not getting good locations or having to move locations or anything of that nature. That's kind of part of again part of the process here that 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 allows us to you know to to to, to help you have the most success possible quickly and easily so you can create a passive income. And and again, this is a business where the work I'd say the work mostly is up front in the beginning. Right, getting the you know getting operational, getting in these companies, but once you're in a company, then it let's talk more about that. Uh, a lot of people want to know, well, how many hours per week after I'm in a company, what am I going to need to go on ongoing? Uh, you know, in, in terms of that, is there anything? Well, is there, before we move on to that, Bill, is there anything else you, you'd like to add or talk about in regards to that? Oh, only, you, know, you did a very and, good job. Yeah. You, you did a very good job. The, the first location is the hardest, and after that, it gets much easier because. For, for one thing, you start getting uh, referrals. Um, think about it this way: you get a, you place a, uh, say you place a, uh, just to pick an example, in the break room of State Farm Insurance, and they're in a big office building. Next thing you know, their neighbors are hearing about it. They're coming over and seeing it. Their employees are talking about it to other people that work at other companies, and then you start getting people, uh, businesses calling you asking if you can place one in their business. Uh, plus, if you, when you have one operational, you can send people over to look at it, and so on and so forth. So it just gets easier and easier and easier. You know, people can start with however many they want. The, uh, there's some economy of scale. If you start with a couple, it's going to cost more per location. The ROI would be lower than if you start with, with more. The higher the number, the, the lower the cost and the higher the ROI. But the main thing is to start because it's so immensely profitable that uh, once you see the money, you'll want to expand as, as quickly as you can. Nobody wants to go into anything thinking about failing or what they're going to do if they quit. We tend to, uh, what we focus on expands. We, you know, we don't want to focus on that. But in the, uh, in, a, in a situation where you give it a fair try and you find out it's just not for you, what do you do? Well, we don't want anybody stuck with something they don't want. So we, we help people uh, liquidate when that's the, the situation. And because it's commercial equipment, it's not returnable to the suppliers that we work with, but what we, and, and we don't, nor is it practical to ship it to different locations. But we, we found easy, and what I've done for over 10 years is we help you resell the equipment where it is. So if it's in, if, uh, if you've got them in locations, we can, we uh, just resell the locations, and if you've got some of it in storage, we can resell it in storage. So it's not a problem. There's a big market for this equipment, and we already make a market for them. So we can either help you sell them yourself or we can do it for you. So we're happy to, to help you in that situation. But uh, it's best not to focus on it because you're not going to go there. You're going to be successful. That's the right attitude to have. Is, you know, honestly, if they do what, what we teach them how to do, it's, it's really a simple business, right? And if you're mm-hmm. in a part of the country where you have a, 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 a good number of businesses in your vicinity, and you're offering this to a, a company at, a, at at no no charge, and you're offering to set this up in their company break room and service them, and you know provide you know snacks and drinks on an ongoing basis for 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 the company and their you know and their employees. I mean, most business owners are pretty open to that, right? So again, it's not a. It's, I have to remind people, it's really not a hard sell with what we do. There's some things that have to take place, and I know that. And I know we get people every week. I talk to at least one person a week that that will contact us and 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 say, you know, well, uh, do you have any existing locations that are already operational that I could just buy from you right now? And I know we get a lot of those those kind of calls. And 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 you know, a lot of times people think that buying a business with existing locations is a, is a better investment than than uh, you know starting up and getting the locations. Uh, uh, can you speak to that, Bill? In terms of, you, you know, the the pros and cons, well, the difference between existing locations versus well, sure. working with us, and yeah. Well, sure. Well, first of all, if you if you we don't typically find people with established markets that they want to sell because they're making a lot of money and they don't want to sell them. There's not really any on the market, and if there were, they would be very pricey. Uh, typically, a 
an established business will sell for two to three times the annual gross profit. And that is way more than what it costs to start a new market from scratch. I wouldn't do it. I, knowing what I know and I'm, knowing what you'll soon know about how to set up and start a market, you would just go start your own market. You wouldn't want to buy an established one. Why, why pay that kind of money? Then your ROI is way lower. It doesn't make any sense to me to do that. And by the way, the numbers that we put in our profit uh, illustrations are uh, real numbers that come from the data you just mentioned, and they're very conservative in our experience. But uh, actually, micro markets typically do about three times better than vending machines, and most of that data comes from vending. So uh, we're using the numbers for vending, but the micro markets are you know, are typically higher than that. And then, and then after you get operational, we have other profit centers we can add to increase the revenue even further, but we won't get into that now. Let's just talk about next steps then. Okay. Let me start by saying that the number one cause of failure is quitting. So think about that. Get started and resolve not to quit. Number two is wealthy people get started. Broke people are always getting ready to get ready to get started and thinking about getting started and analyzing getting started. Wealthy people get started. You get started, you don't have to have every single you gotta do some due diligence, but you don't have to have every single answer. You get started and then you dial it in as you go. That's what I've always done in my business career and every all wealthy people do that. So getting started is, is key. We don't care how big you get started. You could start small or, or start big. We don't care. We want the right people to get started. And when you see the money, you'll expand quickly. We know that. So there's no, we, it's not important to us that you, you get, you know, we're not trying to sell you a big package so we can make a lot of money or anything. We want the right people to expand this, this concept. Now, you will make more money if you start larger, but that's your decision. Getting started is key. I would, I would, uh, Decide when you feel like you have enough information, get started and don't overthink it. Yeah, 100%, Bill. And I think that, um, you know, we, with this type of business that we're in, we're, we're a little different. You know, I do, I do talk with people every day, and, and some people are, are looking for something right away that they get started and get profitable and operational. And there are some people that are just kicking tires and want to wait six months to a year. Now, I, I, I always tell folks, because I know with this, our business, the way we work is, is we do have a limit to the amount of vendors we're able to bring into each region. I know we typically will market pretty aggressively in a region for several months, but it's not going to be forever. And once we, once we have a certain amount of vendors, we, we at some point will have to cut it off. So I just encourage people, if you're looking at this, if you're listening to this now, do your homework now. Do your research now. Make your decisions sooner than later because if you decide this is something that you want to do, you believe will help you get to the next level to create more passive income, whether you want to supplement your income, replace your income, again, we can we can help you get there, uh, whatever whatever level you want to where you want to participate at, you know, anywhere from three to ten markets. But the the the, the thing is 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 don't don't wait on it too long, because I know that uh, you know we've had some people that you know waited too long and they they've kind of missed out on the opportunity. It's always better to be on the front end in a new in in, in a new area than wait till the last you know, the, be, the, be the last person. So definitely if this is something you're, you're seriously considering, read and review every e email we sent you and get back to us, get back to me and let's set up a call for an, an, an informational interview and, and, and talk more about what's important to you and, 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 and you know, let us help you uh, create, you know, create better results, create more passive income, create more uh, financial freedom and, and, you know, put yourself in a position where if you wanted to, retire early or, or transition out of what you're currently doing, you're going to have more options to do so. Um, you know, don't wait too long. Well, very good. And the biggest reason not to wait is because every day you wait, you're losing income that you could have had. And uh, the other thing is, you, you know, the area you want could be gone. That's just the reality of the situation. And I should comment briefly on, on our, our growth. Uh, right now, we, we have been rolling these out really at a discounted price. Uh, just to get a lot of momentum going and a lot of people started, the prices to get started are, are abnormally low. They're lower than, they're, than they should be. And when the next book, when my next book comes out, Micro Market, Profit from the Automated Convenience Store, boom, uh, it's about to release. And when it does, our prices are going to go up also. So 
it's not going to get better or easier or cheaper if you wait. It's going to get more expensive, and your area could be gone, uh, and so on. So that's just um, the facts. And lastly, I want to just point out that we are not a sales organization. We're a consulting organization. So what we do is we build long-term relationships with people that we, uh, that we, we basically think of you as our partner because we really are in a sense. We want to work with people that we can grow with. So uh, nobody here is going to push you to make a decision. It's all on you to decide when you're ready. Uh, we just try to encourage you to make good decisions and help you the best we can. And James, you're a pro at that. You're the best. Well, thank you, Bill. I appreciate appreciate that compliment, and and I appreciate you two for all that you do. And I know that you know we've we've made many improvements, and and uh, you continue to 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 refine and evolve, and and you're you're on the cutting edge in when it term when it, in terms of this industry. Um. So so definitely um definitely definitely grateful that uh, for your knowledge your experience and the fact that you're always uh you know you're such an in, in, innovator in in in, the, in this industry well thank you if you've listened to this call today and taken the time then let's talk about your next steps definitely uh we want you to you know do your homework read and review all the information we're going to send your way but most importantly book a call and let's 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 have a chat. Let's talk about what's important to you and and how we could potentially help you, and put yourself in a position to, you know, create a, a different financial picture for yourself. Whether it's creating more you know passive income, uh, whether you want to um, replace your income, supplement it, whatever it is, get up back to us. Book a call as soon as possible, and and uh, we'll, we'll definitely. I'm happy to spend some time with you on the phone and explain more, talk about possibilities, look at your area more in depth. Again, if we're marketing in your area, if you're listening to this call, there's opportunity, but don't wait too long because the longer you wait, the, the, the less uh, the opportunity is going to be there. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of our business. So thank you for your time. appreciate everyone that has is listening to this call because I know your time is valuable and important, so we, we appreciate your time. I encourage everyone to get back with your rep. Make a call, text, or schedule an appointment using the link we gave you, and have a conversation. Get your questions answered. We're looking forward to working with you. I'm looking forward to talking with, with each of you personally and meeting you at some point. And uh, thank you all for showing up and taking the time for this call.